You. What happened to you? What do you mean? You look so much less than perfect. Did your farmer forget to spray you? One of your kernels is crooked. Yeah, I was watered this morning, just before they picked me. No, I mean your, your Roundup shower. To kill all your pesky neighbors that tried to steal your fertilizer? Roundup? You mean that stuff that kills plants? But doesn't that hurt? No, I'm Roundup ready. I can be sprayed with Roundup to kill all the weeds, but I'll be fine. Hmm, I've heard rumors of your kind. You're that conventional corn that people spray with pesticides that kill bugs and stuff. Well, actually, I'm better than conventional corn. I'm genetically modified biotech sweet corn. Trademark Monsanto. But you can call me BT for short. And actually, farmers can spray me with up to 85% less insecticide than conventional corn. That's because I have it built into my genes. And when bugs eat me, their stomachs melt from the inside and they die a slow, painful death. Wow. Well, they don't use any of that stuff on me. I'm organic. I may look imperfect to you, but I was grown the same way. Corn has been grown for over 5,000 years, naturally. Mm. So I don't understand, BT. If you weren't made by nature, then how were you made? Mm, well, I started off as a seed. My father was a corn, and my mom was a bacteria called Bacillus thuringiensis, or BT. That's where I get my nickname and my ability to make insects' stomachs explode. Whoa. But what will happen to the humans who eat you? I was engineered to kill the insects. The bacteria won't harm people. Are you sure? I read a study where the bacteria was found in the bloodstreams of people who ate BT corn that had been fed to livestock. Well, even if that's true, it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad for them. Bacteria and viruses enter human bodies all the time, and humans even use the viruses to make vaccines. And after all, it was the organic farmers who used bacteria to deter pests that gave my scientists the idea to put it in my genes. But what about that recent French study in which rats fed on GM corn were found to have significantly higher incidence of breast tumors, liver, and kidney damage, and most of their offspring died shortly after or did not reach their natural size? Those Europeans are always complaining. The scientists that made me think that study is very suspicious, and they're looking into it. Plus, those are just rats, and it doesn't mean GMOs have the same effect on humans. Well, you know, BT, that's the problem. Some studies say you're safe to eat, and others say you're not. What? That's preposterous. I'm perfect. My makers say there are no studies that, so far that show I harm humans. They say you and I are nutritionally equivalent. But you and your friends have only been around for about 15 years, so no one knows for sure the long-term effects of eating you. Some people believe that you could cause allergies, diabetes, ADHD, and even cancer. Those people eat too much fast food and just want to blame me. The truth is those humans need me. My friends and I have been engineered to be stronger and produce higher yield than you. You and your organic friends could never feed almost six billion humans by yourselves. We help them make more food with less work. It's true the people have gotten a little out of control, but if they want less work, they should look at the crazy things that they do to get food these days. Things used to be so simple. They would just grow us and eat us. Now they make us travel all over the world. Here in Hawaii, they make oranges and bananas travel all the way from Central and South America, while my organic friends are growing right here in front of them. And some of them have stopped eating plants altogether. Instead, they ship us all over to feed cows who have never seen grass. They put us through all kinds of machines to make us into syrup, mix us with all kinds of strange things, put us in colorful boxes, and then finally eat what's left of us. Kind of seems like a lot of work to me, a lot of fossil fuels and a lot of trash. How in any way is this easier? Well, I happen to like traveling in air-conditioned boxes. Those organic farmers are just old-fashioned. After all, we are in the 21st century. I am proof that humans are smarter than nature. Well, I'm not so sure about that, BT. Isn't messing with the DNA structure kind of like playing God? What's wrong with playing God? Science has proved so many advances for mankind. Genetic mutations happen all the time in nature. Scientists are just making genetics work for everyone. If we don't take risks, we will never solve any of the world's problems. Haven't you ever seen Jurassic Park? 
I think it makes sense to let nature be nature. But well, one thing I do know for sure is that when I'm taking my morning roundup shower, I never have any weeds bothering me. Well, if you're so roundup ready, doesn't that make farmers want to spray you with more roundup? I guess, but there hasn't been a problem with that so far. But all those roundup chemicals are getting into the land, ocean, and water supply. Don't you think the weeds might become immune to the roundup over time? No worries. If that happens, scientists will just make stronger chemicals. Well then, the weeds will just keep getting stronger and eventually become super weeds. Weeds that will take over the world. You're crazy. That will never happen. Well, who knows what's going to happen when you're messing with nature. The fight between nature and chemicals could go on forever. Will you just calm down? No wonder your kernels are crooked. I don't know, BT. All this stuff about exploding bugs, super weeds, and your mother being a bacteria is kind of freaking me out. My organic friends and I are very happy here in Hawaii with our year-round growing season. Maybe you and your perfect friends should just stay on the mainland a little longer while we sort this out. Well, actually organic, my GMO friends are already growing in Hawaii and over 40,000 acres of land owned by biotech companies. We like your year-round growing season and your isolated location is perfect for testing out the effects of my new friends. Let me introduce you to one now. In fact, he was born here. This is my best friend, GM Papaya. Tell us about yourself, Papaya. Oh, please call me Papa. Well, as you probably heard, I'm very resistant to the dreaded papaya ring spot virus that's been killing many of the local papayas. It's quite a success on our part, don't you think? Brilliant! You're an image of complete health. Yeah, I've heard about you. You're the type of papaya that contaminated most of Hawaii's papaya population. Well, yeah, you know, I have so many seeds to keep track of. And who cares if I misplace a few in other gardens? Well, some people don't want to eat GMO papayas, and it's not just you misplacing your seeds. You are also cross-pollinating with organic papayas. Well, what can I say? I'm a popular guy. In fact, I was just off to meet some lady papayas. They're organic. Got a roll. This all sounds a little out of control, BT. It seems like you and me disagree on a lot of things, and I'm kind of afraid to be such close neighbors with you and your friends. Shouldn't there be someone to make sure that it's safe for you to live by me and for people to eat you? Well, yes, there is. They're called the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. But they are kind of busy regulating all the other stuff they have to regulate, like food, bottled water, prescription drugs, and stuff. So they decided that the scientists that made me should be the ones to make sure I'm safe. But wait a minute. Doesn't it seem weird that biotech companies are regulating their own GMO products? I, I doubt that they will make any regulations that go against what they're doing. I think the biotech scientists know more than the average human. Why scare them for no reason? Excuse me, I need to get this. Hello? Hi, Uncle. Yes, I'm here. Come on up. Who is that? Uh, it's my uncle G.E. Korn from Molokai. He's part of the genetic seed crop there. Seed crop? What's that? Well, actually, here in Hawaii, my GMO corn aunties, uncles, cousins, and I are mostly used for our seeds. We get shipped to other parts of the world to test labs for seed experimentation and other stuff like that. What? You let them experiment with your seeds? And people here don't even get to eat you? But I thought that's what we were for. Hey, Uncle, what took you so long? I got caught up in one of those anti-GMO protests. Oh, is this your organic buddy? It looks simply horrifying. It's not my buddy. Well, organic, it's nice to meet you. Let me tell you something about our family. We're worth over $250 million. That's more than sugar and pineapple combined. And we're the largest biotech crop in the United States. Okay, Uncle, aren't they waiting for you back at the lab? Well, maybe that's not the best use of our local agricultural land. This is also overwhelming. I wonder what people think about all this. Why don't the humans who don't like us just avoid us? After all, there are only some of us sold commercially. Corn, soybean, canola, rice, papaya, cotton, sugar beets, and alfalfa. Humans can just avoid us. 
But it's not that easy anymore. You and your friends are in everything. I mean almost everything contains high fructose corn syrup, canola oil, or other GMO ingredients. How are people supposed to know which food to avoid? The humans can just buy organic and Google everything else. But people have the right to know what they're eating. But people have a right to know what they're eating. But labeling GMO foods would simply cause unnecessary concern. It has been officially validated by the FDA that organic foods and GMO foods are nutritionally equivalent. And what do you have to say about this? The massive amounts of studies that show the potential effects of GMOs cannot be ignored. By labeling GMO foods, people can decide for themselves and end all of this controversy. And this concludes our GMO debate. Thank you for watching Channel 9001 News.